asked all the time, what is the best way to know if your ball is rolling through the pins for optimal pin carry? And the best way to tell is to watch not only where your ball hits the pocket, but also where it exits the pin deck. So in a perfect world, those two things, where it enters the pocket and exits the pin deck are gonna roughly be in the same spot. Let's talk about one of the most common things that you may see in ball motion. And that's gonna be the ball as it enters the pocket, it then for right-handers deflects towards the nine pin and for left-handers deflects towards the eight pin. That's a really great indicator that your ball is probably not in the roll phase and probably means you may need to make a small adjustment. Now let's talk about another place the ball can exit the pin deck. It's not as common as when you see your ball deflecting towards the nine pin for right-handers, but it's still an indicator that a move may need to happen. And that's when your ball goes through the pocket for right-handers and is still hooking towards the eight pin. It's a little heavy on that eight pin spot. That means your ball is hooking through the pins and not rolling. Now this doesn't mean that you're never gonna throw a strike if your ball doesn't roll through the pins. We see it all the time. I have shots where the ball's deflecting towards the nine pin or a little heavy on the eight pin and I'm still striking. But if you really wanna start stringing those together in a game, a league night, or a block of a tournament, the more often that you can get the ball to roll through the pins, the higher carry percentage you're gonna have. So I hope this helps. Good luck out there and we'll see you next week.